Hey guys, in this video we'll be doing a quick but informative overview of the new futures trading on the Bitru exchange. So what exactly are futures? Futures or futures contracts are an agreement to buy or sell an asset at a later date for a fixed price. They are typically used by traders as a way to hedge other investments or to lock in profits when trading in volatile markets. Using futures on Bitru is fairly easy. You just go to bitru.com log in and in the top right corner you click on my assets there you have your spot wallet and futures wallet just transfer your money from the spot wallet to the futures wallet so we can begin using the feature now we're in the user interface to start putting in some orders this user interface might be a bit overwhelming, so let me explain. You can basically divide the user interface into seven sections. In section one, you have your general information where you can also choose different markets and pairs to future trade with. Section two is just your graph. Here you can change the time, day, as well as add some indicators and some extra options you won't use a lot if you're only beginning. Section three is your entire portfolio, your positions, your open orders, trigger orders, better known as limit orders, order history, profit and loss records, and your transactions. Section 4 is the live order book. Here you can see at what prices the pairs are being bought and sold at. Section 5 are the trades. Here you can see the activity on the market by others. Section 6 is where you're actually going to put in orders for buying and selling. At the top you'll see two options. One option to change the margin mode. You can choose cross or isolated. With cross margin, the margin is shared between open positions with the same settlement cryptocurrency. When needed, a position will draw more margin from the total account balance of the corresponding cryptocurrency to avoid liquidation. An isolated margin is margin assigned to a position that's restricted to a certain amount. If the margin falls below that level, the position is liquidated. You can also adjust your leverage easily and after that you have to decide if you want to put in a limit order or a market order. Very easy. Section 7 is just your assets. Here you can transfer them to and from your spot account. I hope you guys learned something from this video and thanks for watching.